Morning, everybody. We're calling the uh, normal uh, uh, business meeting of the North Coast Railroad Authority to order. March 8th, 10.33 a.m. Uh, we'll move now to item E1, a presentation from Mr. Anderson. Thank you, and good morning. Good uh, morning. Good a while. Good to see you again. Yeah. I see a few new faces, but um, in the way of introduction, I'm, I'm Dave Anderson. Uh, sir, uh, thank you. All right, so I'm, I'm going to cover a number of items here. I have not been around for a number of, of months or years, maybe even potentially. So um, just to give you uh, sort of a, an overview, I'm going to talk about Black Point Bridge automation. I'm going to talk about Clay Street uh, with, with Mr. Honeycutt and uh, fish and game levees that are in Shelville, the Shelville area uh, on the Brazos Junction branch. Uh, a little bit on the Healdsburg uh, roundabout, uh, Woodman Creek, uh, which is getting into the final phase of design, and uh, Humboldt County, uh, if they're, they're taking on the last phase of the Arcata uh, Trail. So those are, that, that's an overview. So the, um, the, the first subject is going to be the Black Point Bridge Automation, which the, the good news is this has been around for uh, I don't know, maybe a couple of years now or more. Yeah. And so uh, we're, we uh, actually just uh, last week, we got Caltrans buy-off on the completion of the project, which is a huge milestone because that allows us to basically do all of the, uh, all of the final invoicing and pay the contractor and, uh, and go into training sometime this month as far as using the, the bridge. Uh, it was about a, what, a one and a half million, I think, investment in this bridge, uh, which is a significant investment. Along the way, we ran into uh, a few issues. Uh, the, the biggest issue was the fact that the, um, the bridge, even, even if we weren't automating it, it was beginning to fail in the me mechanism to turn the bridge. Um, so that was a, um, a, a hurdle that we needed to get through because it was about a, a $70,000 fix, which there was no money in the contract for that. And NWPCO has advanced that money. Um, and basically what it is, it's, it's, it's deferred maintenance, and, and NWPCO has agreed to that. So, um, so these, these photos up here are basically um, just kind of demonstrating a little bit. This, this is the control panel. Um, here's some of the some of the wiring that was taking place in the in the in the control house. Um, so that's all installed. There's one more photo here, which is the actual motor. And as you may recall, the, the scope of the project got changed to, to put the motor, the the new electric motors under the bridge rather than replacing all of the existing. Uh, mechanical equipment in the house, which is nice because it preserves a, an alternative for an emergency to move the bridge. All right. All right. No, no, no. All right. Just, so and you can actually scroll through them, I think, with a little arrow down. Oh, perfect. There. Yes. Um, so I now I need to scroll, I guess, because I want to show you A pretty fast scroll. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm looking for something um, that I'm not finding. When was this bridge built? It was built uh, about a hundred, a hundred and two years ago. Hundred and two. Was not yeah, new. So um, I'm not going to be able to show you this one diagram I had set up for you, but the um, so back to, back to this. There's a, there's a mechanism that has three arms, and, and this is the, the top crank, and that's what you know, slides the, the, the uh, wedges in and out. And the reason we need those wedges is because the wedges transfer the live load of the train down to the pier, whereas if, without them, all you have is the center rotating pier, uh, support, which isn't designed for that. So what's, what happened over the last year uh, or so, you can see I've, I've got markings there, and this this keyway is failing, mm -hmm. and 
And, and not only is it failing, but also you can see from these lines that the shaft is actually, is actually right. twisting. Mm -hmm. So that combination took the mechanical advantage out of the mechanism. And so when they were to drive the, the wedge, it would only go just a little bit and it would come back. So they could not set the limit switches for the automation until it was fixed. Uh, so th this is same. So now we're in the middle of fixing it. Where basically what we did is we took the we took the keyway out. This is the other one. This is not the one that was failed. I just showed you, uh, but this one was also failing. And then we twisted the that crank to the right position, and now we're. we're we're taking out the material and we're going to weld it in the right position. And this on the other side, uh, it wouldn't move when we tried to move it when we, took the, when we took the pin out. So we actually had this, that's two inches, that's a two inch thick piece of metal. And someone signaled who was the contractor. They, they cut that groove out so that we could turn it and then we re welded that as well. And, um, so this is the, the wedge chair, and you can see here we've got, this is, these are uh, shim plates that are, that are pack rusting, and they're, they're, they're very poor shape. We had to remove those. And this shows you where this is not fully, this, this is where it's fully disengaged, so, so the, 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 the wedge could not come all the way back. But the, the real interesting part was that we, we, um, this, this is, we, we picked up that about one ton chair, and then we took out these plates and put it back and adjusted, we adjusted the, the elevation and the, the plate, the, pla the planarness of that top, and then we grouted it. So that's, so, so we went through that process, and now they're doing the fine tuning on, on all of the limit switches, and it's operating. But you know, on the new power, uh, Caltrans witnessed it, and so did Smart, and who was administering the funds. And so, so next month we'll be training everybody. That's How much is this job? Well, the, the fix was about seventy plus thousand. And the uh, automation was, Mitch? Yeah, about 1.3 million. So, I mean, it's a great asset, this bridge. And now that you don't have to go out into a rowboat to get out there, uh, <laughs> so it's a, it, it, and, and we've lost some people down, down, down the Petaluma River <laughs> trying to do that. So, Dave, by when do you think it'll be fully automated? Well, it, it, it is automated now, um, and I was there yes, yesterday. Uh, they're just they're fine tuning it. One one of the one of the unique unique findings is now that now it's being automated. If the bridge is during the day, if the bridge is oriented for mariner traffic, and the sun is shining on one side of the bridge, it it twists the bridge. So so when the limit switches come down, they the Conleys come down, uh, and if they don't see, then the automation says, you know, default. So, and what what has been happening is that when they, uh, what, with the current operation, they'll, they'll put grease in there, they'll jump up and down the Conleys, they'll get them down, they'll get them to seat. So, so we're going through a, a programming where the, the automation won't put it back to Fort Mariner, it'll leave it there so somebody can get up, get onto the bridge and, and, and uh, figure out a way to get those comments done. So that's, that's a rule. You're saying the heat of the sun distorts the bridge yes. enough that it won't see? Yes. And that's, that's always been the case. Uh, but now when you automate it, it you have to you know, have a program to yeah. just leave it where it's at. So, um, but the good news, I guess, for NWP Co. is I think most of their movements are either in the early morning or at night. And that's no problem. I don't think so. But uh, this is a common problem for, for this type of bridge. Uh, and there's been a number of different solutions. And so we'll, we'll be working with NWP Co. to figure out.
uh, operational solutions. So this is the mechanism. This is this is the crank. It's just, and, and this arm needed to be horizontal, and it wasn't. And this needed to go all the way in. 